Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I realized that I really missed like proper vlogging, the kind of vlogging that I usually do. You know what I mean, like making my morning coffee, doing all of my daily kind of activities with you guys. And I've done my detox vlog, but it didn't really feel like a vlog. You know what I mean? I was just kind of showing you something. Today I decided to change that. I'm freezing because actually this morning I woke up a little bit earlier and I spent the morning shooting projects. Paris has never been so cold. I think it's like minus six today, but it feels like minus nine or like minus three, but it feels like minus nine. When I saw it feels like minus nine, I was like, might not even leave the house today. However, that's not gonna happen because I have some plans. Um, you know when you like spend a little bit of time outside and you feel that the, the cold air has gone into your bones and you cannot get rid of it? That's how I feel today. I'm very, very casual, but I will soon have to leave the house in around an hour. I have a few uh, beauty treatments planned. I'm going for a hydrofacial for the first time in my life. I've never had a hydrofacial and you guys have recommended a hydrofacial so many times. I think that a hydrofacial is going to be something that is really going to work for my skin. So I'm gonna wash my face and all of that stuff and then we leave. But I also wanted to show you my new hair color. Most of you have seen it probably on the stories, I suppose. Do you follow me on Instagram? Do you not follow me on Instagram? Because you should follow me on Instagram. We should be friends. When I've just done it by um, Instagram account Louis Remy, so Louis did my hair. When he came to do my hair, he told me like, you know what, it's not going to be too obvious of a change because I prefer to do very subtle, nice thing and then you see if you like it. I also think that my expectations when it comes to the hair and hair changes are very kind of reasonable so when he left he was like do you like it and i loved it immediately even though the color was super subtle the change was super subtle it was exactly what i wanted something really nice just to kind of start getting into spring because i'm really getting into spring especially now that i'm a little bit more tanned i think it suits me sorry if i'm talking so fast but so much to tell you and i've missed you guys that's the thing in my office it's like a never-ending um never-ending mess uh, I asked you guys, like, why is it always messing my wardrobe? And one of you said, because you don't have enough storage space. And that's not true. The worst situation is that it's not even true that I don't have enough storage space. So let me explain this to you guys. Basically, I have enough storage space, but I'm trying to, like, record reels. I'm trying to take pictures. And then when my team comes, I don't want to, like, between the shoots of outfits and reels and things, I don't want to be like, okay, let me just fold back everything together, you know, and they're waiting around. So what I do is, I just throw everything on the bed and then when they leave I have this huge mess and they're always like shall we help you with something and I'm like no no no, I'll do it myself <sighs> so it's never ending mess but that's okay so you guys will have to help keep me company while I tied it but one very important thing is that my boyfriend was so kind he has ordered food for me for today we have friends over tonight for dinner he's gonna be cooking I think I think and I am going to kind of make sure that house looks nice. But for lunch, he's ordered me my favorite salmon tartare from Marcos. So I'm very happy to go and eat that. And then we're gonna head out for the treatments. I just need to make sure that everything looks so pretty. I received some really beautiful pieces from Misoma that I will show you later, hopefully in this vlog or in the next vlog. I don't know, I haven't had a chance to try them on yet. So I was just unboxing that because these look so cute. Look at this. This is my favorite salmon tartare. And it arrived, I think, with some toast as well. Delicious. I think the worst reason why I'm so cold is actually the gloves or the lack of them. But I do have gloves. Ah, ha! Amazing. Okay, so I'm dressed. I did not remove my makeup because I think they will do that there. I'm heading there very casual. I've got my black Pangaea tracksuit, my Bottega boots, tire boots. What is this? A my Chanel bag, of course. What else bag do I wear? The Saint Laurent coat. This coat is like two years old. Do you guys still ask me for it? Constantly it seems to be very popular. I love it. Like with you guys, I mean. And I love it. It's my favorite coat, probably. Mask is here. That's it. It's sunny, but it's freezing. And uh, honestly, sunny is enough for me. Like, I don't mind the cold. But as long as it's not gray, I, I need light. I've always been a person that needs a lot of light. And there's one thing that I have to say is that I'm so happy that... The days are starting to be longer. Tomorrow I'm going for a pedicure actually. And today I have these kind of treatments. So it's a bit of a beauty 
beauty situation. So we're now in the Champs Elysees, as you can see. This is the Rue Mabeuf. I don't know. Lol, such a funny word. And this is where the center is. So besides the hydrofacial, I'm also having a body body treatment called Tesla Reformer. Never tried it before. My friends have recommended it to me, so let's see what it is about. As you guys know, I love to try different things and to kind of experience new things. So plus, I really like to look after myself. I'm now on the Tesla Reformer, so you might like hear some noises because it's like works on a electromagnetic impulses. But this is, guys, this is so incredible so i have something here right now is working on my lower back which is probably what i need the most sorry about the noise but it's the part of the machine i'll show you how it looks like when it starts working on my glutes my whole body jumps when it starts working on the glutes right now it's abs oh my god you can see me there in the mirror okay <laughs> It's so funny because my legs just move without me actually moving. Time for my hydrofacial. I was just going to show you this machine because we were just talking about it. I was saying earlier, actually, in my stories that I don't really have any issues with cellulite, but I have so many stretch marks, and today I learned that there's cure even for that. So there is hope, guys. I will inform you about it later. So comfy, the bed. Mm. I have a little bit of makeup on my skin, okay. but you will see. Wow, the glow is insane. Yeah. I love a good glow. Look guys, my skin, it looks and it feels great. Yeah. It feels kind of curly. Like baby skin. <laughs> exactly. I love it when it's this like this. Normally I don't really do kind of things like this, but I think this is so useful for everybody to see. So I changed the mask because I had a facial. I'm so glowy as you can see. And we're doing the second part of the Tesla. It's incredible. We're doing now glutes and then we're gonna do abs. It feels really like powerful, the contractions, but not painful at all. Like as you can see me, I mean, I don't know if it's too much. I have like a bathing suit on, so I'm not naked or anything like that. I, as you can see, I have a bathing suit on. It's very interesting, I have to say. Um, the contractions are very intense. We're finishing with abs. With my glutes, we did 100%, uh, but that is something that I work out on most of the time. Every single day, I do the glute workouts. With my abs, I do, but I do the side abs, like these abs. I don't really do these abs. So on the abs, we're on the 60%, <laughs> and it's intense. On my glutes, I could have done 150%. Like, I mean, honestly, 100 was more than fine, but on abs, 60 is like intense, but it's so cool. Last update for me, we're up to 90, 90%. Um, I, I don't know, maybe we'll go up to 100, but now I'm used to it. So, you know, like it's kind of gradual from 60 to 90 and um, it's really working. I can really feel it. Welcome back to La Casa. Look how glowy my skin after the hydrofacial. It's incredible. I actually haven't touched my skin, haven't done anything yet. My hair looks a bit greasy. It's not greasy, it's just that um, they have, they asked me like, would you like a head massage? And I was like, yes, because I'll wash my hair. You know, I'll wash my hair. That's the easiest thing. So now preparing the house because the guests are arriving. Look at my union sign. Prada or Nada. I will link below where you can get it. I. I'm crazy about this. This is a collaboration of Dyed Prada with the Yellow Pop neon company. So I really love it. I think it's so freaking cool. I would like to hang it on the wall somewhere, but I'm not sure quite where yet. I'm going to figure out what I need to do at home to make it all nice and neat and tidy. Finishing one of my routine juices. For dinner, my boyfriend is cooking, like I told you, of course, mm -hmm. and this one doesn't cook. So that's just what we're doing tonight. We have four people coming over and that is it. They're coming very early just to make sure that kind of we're in line with everything. Everything is tidy, I would say, except from my office, which is like... Let's have some candles. This is one of my favorites, Deep Teak Amber. On, what else? And my other favorite, which is 
Santal fig, but the wick is too long, so I need to shorten it. Once upon a time, someone has asked me what are these scissors for. They're for candle wicks. As you can see in this household, we are kind of obsessed with candles, very much so. <laughs> I think like at the moment we have more than 15 candles, which are in everyday use because that's how much we love the candles. Recently I showed my favorite vase on Insta Stories and you all guys asked me where is it from, so I will link it below. Got these flowers, they're kind of dying, I just took some out. They're already finished, but I still love it. I think I will have to throw them out tomorrow and then buy some new ones. So I have guests, boys are hanging out, and Alex is here. Look at our, look at us, Alex, social distance, social distance. like so much. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're just catching up because we haven't seen each other this year. Oh my God, since last year. No, Literally, I appeared on your list, uh, on your blog, blog as yeah. well. Yeah, so this is kind of like a big serious catch-up session. So we're waiting still for Xenia and Jorgen who are always late. It's so atypical German, you know? Actually, Spanish are usually supposed to be late. We were a bit late, but they are definitely they're fashionably winning, late. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're winning by far. So right now we're just gonna catch up a little bit and then I will update you later. So the late Germans arrived. Bonjour. Good Guten Abend, wie geht's es dir? Sehr gut. Alles gut, ja. Ja, sehr gut. Um, now, I love it when guys set up the table, cook and arrange everything. This is I how we like it! I have not done I'm a thing. I have not done a thing, you know? We just come to the Job table. Baby. Let's see. Let's see if it's... Let's see if the table is done by my liking. I love it. Everybody has their seat in the house. I didn't really vlog much because uh, we were having so much fun. So now it's... Um, we are going to watch The Homeland, which, by the way, is finally on Netflix. I know that all of my US audience told me, like, girl, this has been on... It's been on TV in US, apparently, since April. Not in Europe, but it's finally on Netflix. Homeland season 8. The guest left. So I'm shining like a freaking disco ball. It's not greasy, it's like a film from the hydrofacial. So I'm gonna have shower uh, remove all of that, remove the little tiny trace of mascara that I have and um, watch an episode of Homeland. It's weekend coming soon. So very happy because tomorrow I can sleep in, like start my day with a coffee, do some work, but like light, kind of easy workout and all of that good stuff. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day. Really feeling happy that it's Saturday today. So I woke up, I wanted to kind of like fill you in. Like today my skin looks so great, especially here. Like, can you see the glow? But it's not like shine, it's just like a really nice healthy glow. I'm really happy with my skin today. And like my nose, I cannot feel a single pore. Usually this is the most kind of porous part of my skin, the nose, and this bit of T-zone really. Um, a little bit of this, but it never felt this smooth in my life. I guess because everything was sucked out, there is nothing. I cannot see a single pore on my skin. I know you guys have been recommending me hydrofacial forever, but why I had never tried it, I don't know. So today I have a pedicure on schedule at 2.30. Uh, before that, I really need to tidy my office room because it looks... I'm scared to enter it. And last night we had guests and we forgot to close the window in the living room, which means that it's so freezing in the house right now. It's like minus something outside and we forgot to close the window. So when I got up this morning from the bed, I was like, no! My boyfriend never leaves the house without making me coffee. That's like the best thing in the world. I'm gonna have my coffee, try and tidy the stock, stock room, we call it, because it has so much clothes in there. Yeah, because later on, as the day progresses, it's harder and harder for me to do it. I get more demotivated to do it. So I will try and do it now. I love these like scam messages. I just received another one. I, I don't know if this is relevant for anybody, but during like um, COVID, there are more and more scam messages than ever. Because I suppose like all of these people that used to, I don't know what they used to do, but now they're like scamming people online. So be very careful if you ever get a text message from a random number that says, click the link to, I don't know. Now I receive one which says, you have a tax debt to calculate, please visit the link. And of course the link is like, uh, you know, it's a scam. So... There's so many of those, it's kind of crazy. So please be careful if you're receiving any kind of text messages. Sorry that this is kind of getting all over the place, but I wanted to tell you that we really need to, I need your help to tidy um, the wardrobe room because it's all over the place. It's terrible. But today 
I'm going to bring it to the heavenly state. I love that the days are getting longer. I think I told you that already. The days are getting longer, way longer. And I can tell, especially in this room, because all the sun comes into this room. So this room looks into the courtyard, but it still gets a lot of sun because it's a massive courtyard and the sun reflects onto the walls of um, the courtyard. So it's so beautiful light in this room. But when it comes to the longer days, the whole flat has light throughout the whole day. And that's something I'm very excited for. How am I gonna tidy all of this? I have no idea, but we have to start, so one by one hoping to resolve the situation i told you yesterday someone told me that i don't have enough space i also think that will tr change very soon because when the summer comes this will be for dresses so the coats will go out this will be for blazers because i always wear blazers and then where the dresses are i will just have like a lot more space i could put like evening dresses there day dresses there like skirts or maybe there i could put skirts tops there like you know i will have so much more space when the coats go out it's just the coats they are annoying plus i'm really hoping that at some point soon i'll be able to go to england to actually uh see my family of course first of all but also to kind of leave some stuff to pick some new stuff and i also wanted to show you a few more things that I recently got. Who's texting me? You're so popular this morning. Oh, my best friend. Okay. She just woke up. I need to take it call her. With my best friend on the weekends, I always have to text first before I call her because she's asleep. Because she works really hard during the week. So here we go. My new Fendi Moonlight bag. Look how beautiful. I actually love it. I'm getting very much into these, what do you call it? Like understated bags. They don't have too much going on, but are really, really cool. And I really like this one. It has a back pocket says Fendi, Roma, I suppose. And then there's this like logo on the clasp here that you can see, beautiful. And then what I really like is the acetate, like the turtle shell kind of bit here with the logo here. Can you wear it crossbody? Yeah, you can. And you know, I'm, I'm well, I always say I'm pretty tall, but then some people they're like, no, you're not tall. Um, but anyway, like I like to, I think it, this is okay. I have like a few of these kind of now that are not too long of a strap, like my Prada Clio as well. That's new in my wardrobe. What else have I not shown you? There's so much going on. I have something that I got from my boyfriend, like a little gift, but I think I'll show it to you throughout the video. I just wanna hide it. Let's tackle this. Let's make it perfect, beautiful, arrange everything. And then I'm gonna feel so much better and I'm gonna go to like my pedicure, feeling so relieved, feeling like my house is clean and everything is perfect because every other room in the house is so tidy and clean and everything except from this room which is like full of clothes that I don't even know what to do with but we will tackle it so that I can again work here because right now I cannot even work here you know it's so much going on I have kind of managed to tidy the room but i have to leave my house in half an hour to go for the pedicure as i've told you so it's already almost two um but i want to show you an incredible thing that has just arrived and um i mean i opened it because i wanted to post in the stories immediately oh like and then i was like oh my god i have to show it on the vlog in case some of you do not follow my instagram which i mean i don't see why you wouldn't but i guess not everybody has instagram so Louis Vuitton has sent me the most incredible present for early Valentine's Day. What is that noise? Let's look at this bag that it arrived in. It's so stunning. It's from the Game On collection, the packaging. And there was a card somewhere. I'm sorry about those, like, the work inside. So, as you can see, the card was in this um, from the... Game On collection, so beautiful. And then, guys, I don't know if you're ready for this but it is a fragrance like a what you call it like a trunk as you can see it has personalized kind of initials on the top and then it opens here i already have something from kind of same vibe from the objects for home and uh, dun, da, da, da. this is so beautiful i have no words this will be perfect for my shelf when i decorate it actually it has these like kind of like eternal flowers little drawer at the top but of course you can remove it and put whatever you want to put when you're traveling and then two travel cases for fragrances his and her has in his i think it's the meteor 
And for me, I got a new fragrance, which I never had before. Let's try and take it out so I can show it to you. Here we go. Etoile Pilon. Is that correct? Probably not. And what I love about Louis Vuitton, they can always personalize the bottles as well, which is free of charge. The fragrance, the bottles are also refillable with the fragrance. I mean, overall, it's such an incredible experience with Louis Vuitton fragrances. I love this box and I love their travel cases, their travel cases, oh my god, left hand, in action, um, their travel cases are so beautiful that I actually have already a few, I've collected them over time, I'll show you. This is the first one that I ever got, which is um, when I first met Jacques de uh, Belletrude, when who is the nose, the perfumer of Louis Vuitton, when we went to Grasse, and as you can see, it has TK on it. And then the second time I went to Grasse, I got this one from the limited edition collection, and now I have two more, and I love them, and I want to have all of my Louis Vuitton fragrances in these boxes. If you ask me what's my favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance, I love the Rose de Vanne. I love, um, I think it's called Contre Moi. Is it Contre Moi? Something like that. And then I love Amber Nomad or something like that. I really love them. I obviously think that the like Louis Vuitton uses uh, Mr. Bellatrude, who's the most incredible perfumer ever. I absolutely love him and I think he, he is so fantastic. So even more why I love the fragrances. So that is it. Now I'm quickly going to get ready and show you what I've actually managed to do in my uh, wardrobe room so that we can head out to pedicure. Okay, this is better. Look how much I've cleared. The bed now has just some boxes which were... I was kind of feeling sad to throw them away because they're kind of pretty boxes and there's something in there. I need to understand where I'm going to put this. It's looking better, it's tidy. Here I have some shoes that I still have to allocate a place. I need to unbox that actually. And here is looking much, much, much better because this was like, there was a massive pile. I find this bag stand so useful because I don't want to squash those bags in with the other ones on the shelf because they're not really like a seated, sitting bags. I don't know how to describe it. But for example, if you think about my um, Constance bag, you know, that bag kind of nicely sits. This, like for example, uh, the Orcaro, it has the heavy chain, I don't want it to scratch on something, the Clio doesn't really sit, you know what I mean? So, I think I'm gonna buy one more of those stands for the rest of the bags and put it here, and then that way I'm gonna have the middle clear. The goal is just to have this. This is from this, I'll open that later. I will clear all of this. Okay, this is for to light the candle. Then I have this, these Misoma chubby hoops that I've shown you yesterday that I actually want to do something with, like try them on. Oops, and style them nicely. My Leica Polaroid, which is one of the best Christmas gifts ever. So this is the goal for the fireplace. I want it to always be like this, just with few things. And I love how on the bag stand I can put like hats and things like that. So this is really, really going to be cute. Um, yeah, now I just have to organize some of this stuff and things are much better. Same old outfit, I think, as yesterday, because did I leave anywhere yesterday? I said it. Because this is just what I feel the comfiest in, you know, for strolling around. So I'll take you with me. We're going to go for a pedicure and then I think I'm going to check out some shops because I need to get a few things. Paris is so empty on Saturdays. I love it. And it's kind of like... Well, I mean empty. No one's walking on the street. Look at this. And it's just really nice because I get this feeling that it's really weekend, you know? I put so much SPF, 50, because yesterday I did the facial and also because it's kind of sunny, you see? so. I don't know if I have some white residue, but if I do, I'm sorry, just to let you guys know. I really went hardcore. Because I have a pigmentation prone skin, I don't want to affect it badly, especially not after the facial and it's really sunny. Current situation, guys, I am having my pedicure. My coffee, I'm talking quiet because I don't want to be disturbing to the people upstairs who are like relaxing. Um, the glow on the face is still going strong. I'm loving it. I'm almost gonna like fall asleep right now how relaxing this is. So 
Let me show you. And for my favorite light pink, short, comfy, that's it. I love getting my nails done. It's like all the ladies are Russian. They put so much effort. I always find that Russians do incredible job when it comes to aesthetics. So they do a really, really good job. And today they were like, it's free because, you know, I'm a loyal customer. And I thought that was so nice. So like, not talking about the promo. Not, it's not like marketing. It's not a promotion. It's not an ad. Eggy L. I think they have, I think they have few salons in Paris. And it's really like, I'm so happy. So nice of them as well. So one thing. On Saturdays, you should always avoid Champs Elysees. It's so overcrowded that it's almost like scary. But um, I entered Galerie Lafayette on Champs Elysees to have a look because I like this place. They have a lot of um, kind of niche designers as well. So I'm gonna have a little look now. On top of the fact that it's Saturday, it's also sales. So there is so much going on. I always loved this Valentino bag. So cute. Actually, I also checked out this dress at some point. Last year, I got a Valentino dress here on a sale. Oh my god, the Attico has so many great pieces right now. Okay, I love, 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 love these shorts. They're 50% off. I was actually looking for them throughout, but this is size 34, and I assume it's probably the only size left, unfortunately. As you guys know, Saint Laurent is my favorite brand. They have some really cute pieces from Alessandro Rich. My dress, who remembers this dress? If not, I will insert the picture. And of course, one of my absolute favorites, Magda, Magda Butram. This pink blazer. It's pretty good sales, to be honest. What size is this one? 36, my size. And the pants. I kind of want to try it, but I'm also lazy to do so. I always love how they exhibit everything. It's like a conveyor belt and sometimes it's moving, but not right now. And uh, I mean, why the, the Asaf Rocky collaboration is here. They literally have everything. It's incredible. I kind of like, you know, I like it. I always come and check it out and getting a little bit over it now because I've got have so many and I have nowhere to wear them. But look how beautiful. And also like, they have so many colors. Like these are amazing. The pony leather look. Incredible. The full on sparkle, you might like this, I suppose. Overall, or this. And then, like at Chanel area, there are mostly sneakers, which Chanel did pretty smart because at the end of the day, if you want to buy something, it's not going to be a sparkly shoe. You want to probably buy something like this. I also have to say that they always have here such a great Chanel shoe buy. Like, look, they have all of the grandpa. Um, sandals that I already have three so I'm not gonna be buying anymore because I mean it's ridiculous and they have all the iridescence ones you see with the logo these are cool the sandal as you can see the rope sandal but you know I don't really have anywhere to go I don't have any plans so I'm not sure if I'll be doing anything these are very cute the black perhaps because I, I'm worried that these would get dirty Okay, gonna quickly go to supermarket. When we get home, I'll show you what I got. It's mainly like beauty kind of related stuff, but supermarket now, home, and then I need to eat something. Oh my God, how happy I am when the room is tidy and everything is nice and I have where to work tomorrow whole day. I just got home and I wanted to show you what I got at the Galerie Lafayette Champs-Élysées. My uh, back muscles, my stomach muscles and my glutes are hurting from yesterday. Getting ready for summer. Then I am gonna make myself a little soup. I catch up with Homeland because last night I fell asleep and my boyfriend finished the episode. So I need to like, he didn't realize I fell asleep. So then I need to kind of finish that one so we can continue tonight. Before I do, let's show you what I got so that you kind of have like a full insight on my two days of this weekend. First of all, I got something from, I don't know this brand, I've never seen it before, it's called Milu. It's yoga and chill for eyes to envy. I've seen this on Instagram, like these tools that you freeze and then you give yourself eye massage. And then also this, hello, I'm your personal face trainer, which I'm gonna open it to show you what it looks like. It's like a face roller, kind of, and I never really, 
like these face rollers, but recently I want to wash it first before I use it on my face, but recently I've really seen how great they look. I like the whole situation of, you know, like the moment of kind of taking care of yourself and your face and your skin. So I decided to get that. I got some multivitamins. Actually, this is Cacao Glow Collagen Cacao Maca. It says that it has five sticks. So I want to try them first. They're like little sachets, like the ones that I use for my matcha. It doesn't smell like anything. I wonder if, like, what it exactly contains. I haven't looked into it. Boost skin hydration, support collagen production, improve elasticity, texture of the skin. Love all of those. I'm very picky with the collagens I use. I've tried quite a few. When it comes to supplements, you guys know how picky I am, so no news there. Marine collagen, of course, because collagen, you cannot really find it, come from vegetables. Organic cacao powder, organic maca powder, biotin. Okay, but then does biotin come with other vitamins B? or not. I don't like when biotin comes with other, vitam other vitamins B because it actually prevents production of phenoic acid, which then causes like spots and reactions. So I'm not a huge fan though. I do have a regularly good intake of vitamin B. Overall, all the vitamins B uh, from B1 to hydroxycobalamin. So I don't know what to say, but I'm not so convinced. We'll see. We'll see. What I decided to repurchase is my matcha glow. This is also it's a collagen matcha aloe vera so there's also collagen in here but i think without biotin let's see so again marine collagen like i said matcha bio which is great but it contains caffeine which is why i was hoping that i could maybe have this in the evenings i really like it worst case scenario i really like the way like this tastes insanely good so at least some things like i said i'm very very picky with the supplements i bought a new supplement to try from Ami, and this is the let's see hair and scalp boost. Let's see what it contains. Sorry, guys, you know that this is my passion, so I guess it's zinc and biotin. With biotin, you just have to make sure that you do not take too many because it will cause breakouts, but otherwise, it does not cause breakout usually. It's just that if you take too much biotin, it does prevent pantenoic acid, which is B5. If I'm not wrong, it's in French, fabulous, all in French. I'll Google it. I also got a fragrance from uh, L'Artisan Parfumeur. And this one, I mean, like, I honestly should not pass next to Chans Elysee um, Galerie La Pet because there's so much, like, this kind of beauty stuff, supplements, blah, blah, blah. But I just couldn't help myself. So this fragrance is called Bana Banana, and it smells like banana, but it's so much better than banana. It doesn't smell like food. It's like, I want to spray it on skin because I didn't. Oh, it smells so good. It's kind of like banana-y, but also like white mask. It's really nice. It's not too strong. It's not floral, but it's not heavy. And also, I've applied some of my Olaplex oil now to the ends. As you can see, I'm going to wash my hair tonight, do a full routine. And I love how the more I wash it, the more color keeps coming out. So that's really, really nice. I bought some food, like some veggie steak, I bought some salad, some tuna, Coca-Cola was sold out, like you guys know how much I love Diet Coke, though I have been drinking it less and less after my detox, for some weird reason, after I had detox, I've completely gone off Diet Coke. One more thing that I wanted to say with these supplements from the brand called M, I just realized is spelled Ami, like, I, it's actually not Ami, what I thought, it's actually M, like, you know, je t'aime, like love. What I don't like is it doesn't really say if it contains any sugars. And the box, like, can you read this? It's so dark on dark, I'm like, what the, you know? So I'm trying to understand if I do recommend this or not, because, like, I'll see, I'll have to try it, because to be honest, like, can diabetics use this? Does it contain sugar? I don't know, I'm gonna have to understand that. Maya. No, I, I'll, I'll put them in my wardrobe. <sighs> Dating a Virgo, you know? What is this box doing here? What is that box doing there? Okay, I washed my hair. I'm gonna dry it now. Uh, prep it, dry it, use my Dyson as always, which I love because it doesn't require so much heat to dry my hair, so it doesn't damage it, you know? Also, guys, Dating a Virgo, you should have seen how this was like folded you cannot even believe it so tidy which is never my case i'm never that tidy I'm... here we go dry the color is coming out so nicely now the hairdresser told me also to use the blue mask not the blue shampoo i think the blue mask every now and then which i forgot to buy so i need to buy because the next wash 
I will have to use it, like the silver one. And I honestly, in all of these years, I don't think I've ever been happier with my hair. I think it's the best it's ever been and I'm so happy with it. So happy.